Hello, Mr. Brown. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Can you please explain about the schooling in Kansas before this was brought to the courts? The schools were split up, blacks and whites. Some black kids had to walk miles to their school, even if there was a white school right near their house. They are both learning the same material. Why is it necessary for two schools? Can you tell us why you brought this case to the courts? I felt it was wrong for these kids to, to walk so far to the, their schools. Also, there are harmful psychological effects of segregation on African American children. The African American children now thought they were second class citizens. We didn't want our kids being subjected to that. What did you want to change overall about the way schools are? I wanted to have interracial schools. I would like it for it to be possible for African American children and white children to go to school together. Did you have any help bringing this case to the Supreme Court? Yes, the NAACP activists made it possible for me to take this case all the way to the Supreme Court. Well, thank you, Mr. Brown, for taking the time out to talk to us today. Anytime. Anytime. Thank you for being here, Mr. Warren. I'm certain that all Americans are wanting to hear your side of the Brown versus the Board of Education case. To start off, can you please inform us of what it is that you do for a living? I am Earl Warren, the Justice of the Supreme Court during the Brown versus the Board of Education case. I believe that every citizen should have their rights protected, and that is what I'm here to do. What was the court's decision of the, of the, of the case, the Brown versus the Board of Education, and why? The court decided unanimously that segregation of the schooling should not be allowed. This is because segregation of schools violate the 14th Amendment, which states that every citizen should, which states that every citizen born in the U.S. has citizenship. This means that segregation in the education system is not equal and does not allow equality to African Americans. Because of our perspective that every American has rights granted to them in the Constitution, we believe that the Board of Education is found guilty of not allowing African Americans into their schooling and education system. Thank you for being here today. I'm certain that the impact of this decision will affect America for years to come. Yes, it will. Thank you for joining me this for this interview, Mr. Marshall. I have heard a lot about your uh, work as of late, and uh, I would like to ask you some few questions. Uh, first, tell us a bit about yourself and what you do. Uh, my name is Third Good Marshall, and I'm appointed for the uh, Brown vs. Board of Education case. My job in this case is to prove that segregation is not only immoral, but unconstitutional as well. Uh, the court ruled that separate uh, facilities for colored individuals needed to be equal, and uh, colored schools are obviously not equal in condition or quality of teachers to those of white schools. This is very interesting, uh, Mr. Marshall, but I would like to know why this matters. You know, A lot of colored Americans face segregation every day. Every day. What I would like to know is, like, does segregation affect children in a more negative way than adults? Uh, yes, in fact, it does. We've done research and discovered that segregation has indeed proved harmful to young colored children. Uh, what we believe is that we need to create a new generation uh, of tolerant, non-racist children to bring together. To we, in order to do this, we need to desegregate schools and help white children get used to multi multi-raced individuals. Well, Mr. Marshall, thank you for joining me. I, I know you're a busy man, and I'm I'm glad uh, to you to take the time to sit down for me for this interview. I am. Uh, come on, <laughs> thank you. Why you put blah, blah, blah? Thank you for coming to this interview, Mr. Brown. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm an assistant pastor at my local church in Topeka. After leading myself to believe that the idea of segregated schools to be unconstitutional, I brought it to the attention of the Supreme Court. What caused you to challenge the Board of Education? My daughter, Linda, had to walk 21 blocks a day to go to her colored school where we live, from where we live. Compared to the white school, which is seven blocks away, causing me to wonder if the idea of segregated schools is even unconstitutional. And? So with the help of the NAACP, I took it all the way to the Supreme Court, in which I won. What did the court case lead to for your local school and other schools across the nation? When my daughter went to the school that used to be only for whites to enroll, they, did, they didn't let her enroll. 
saying that they didn't care what the Supreme Court said. This led to the creation of the second case of Brown versus the Board, which uh, this enforced the integration of schools. This also uh, led to the uh, integration of other schools other than the one that she went to. Thank you for spending this time for answering our questions. We appreciate your challenge. Oh,